Twin Peaks. We just had our first day in Twin Peaks. Not me. I've seen the whole series before. But it's this guy's first first watch of the pilot episode. Yep. We've been through a whole day. Uh, mm-hmm. For those who don't know, Twin Peaks is about a murder in a small town and how it affects the people around. Very small town. Yes. And I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, Jake. Yes. What did you think? I don't know. I see you have notes. Yes. As I do. You had me take a notepad and to maybe take notes. Mm-hmm. Do you want to explain the plot first, maybe, as you see it? Laura Palmer is dead. Correct. Everybody's having affairs. Everyone. Uh, and that, yeah. I don't know, man. Here's what I wrote down. All right. Everything lasts too long. As in the shot. Yes. The scenes go on too long. It's very good directing. I have the question of overacting on purpose. Uh, Yes. Uh, Next note is fire the cry cop. I don't... Okay. Andy, Andy is a cop on the force. He cannot handle death at all. I think it was his second time crying that I said, fire the cry cop. <laughs> Look, he's a sensitive guy. Maybe he's good at other things. Like, maybe he can catch a speeder, you know, like that, but can't handle death. Okay. Well, my next note is, I should go back. At one point, I went back and I underlined multiple times, everything lasts too long. Okay. Because it... Got on my nerves again and again and again. I kept underlining. Like when we were looking at that shot of the steps going up. Mm-hmm. So iconic. And then I also have music doesn't fit. Is there only one melody? Okay, just the the Twin Peaks theme. <laughs> yes, that comes and goes. There's a lot of different music. We got the FBI theme. We got the. I'm talking about the main theme that's repeated constantly at different moments, yeah. where I'm supposed to be feeling different emotions each time. It's because it encompasses all of it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it seemed too happy for me for okay. what was going on all the time. I think it's of sadness when I hear the main theme. Okay, here I just I I eventually really circled. Mm-hmm. Music doesn't fit. Okay. Next note is no no no. That was during the video camera moment yes the moment where we're looking at the recording yeah of their picnic on the mountain yep and cooper says uh we're looking for a guy on a motorcycle right and they're like wait what and then he zoomed he fast forwards the video a little bit and you can see in laura's eye the reflection of a motorcycle and he says looks like a hog to me What's your problem with that, Jake? It wasn't even needed because they knew they had to find a biker based on the conversation she overheard. But Coop knew already. Coop it apparently shows, knows a lot of stuff already. It shows that he is on top of this situation. <laughs> the, you, you didn't have to have that scene, though. He can still be on top of everything. That scene, that wasn't necessary. Quite the attention to detail he has. That doesn't work like that the here i have underlined is everyone having an affair in this town yes okay. everyone has a public relationship and both of those people also have, have a affairs. secret relationship at one point yeah i i think that was at the third time an affair came up and was revealed and there's about 10 okay. it, i mean it, it's hard to keep track of my final note that i took is why is the band still playing during the fight? Yeah. yeah, as the fight breaks out, they continue to play their very soothing music. Yes, and I love it. I don't. You don't love it? You stop playing. Why? They're there to play, man. They're not gonna stop. They're gonna finish this set. No, stop playing. You would stop, stop playing. playing? Yes. Dude, you can't join my band. Well, that's, that's fine. Add that. Oh. 
I don't know about this thing. You don't know about it. Don't think you like it. I don't know. You don't know. So you might want to see, go further. I, yeah, I don't know. I would recommend, if you don't know right now, mm-hmm. we get, I think it's episode five. I could be wrong about that number. Mm-hmm. It's at five at the most. Might be three. Five is where things take a turn. Things things change. Important things happen. And you really get a feel for what this thing is. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if we get there. We'll see if we get there. On to some of these characters. That Bobby. So cool, right? So Bobby is the public boyfriend of Laura. Yes, the public boyfriend of Laura. Football superstar. Friends with Shark. Barks in the jail cell. Barks in the jail cell. <laughs> Serves on the car. Yeah. Really good driver. Okay, what's the next one? <laughs> uh, Bad Boy James. He's real cool. He's the biker. He's the biker. Okay. Secret affair of Laura. He's the one that I did a double take on. Uh, why? Because I thought he might have been uh, Steve Cardenas from mm. Power Rangers. Okay. I thought he might have been Rocky. He but shares. He, he, he wasn't. He has about my favorite scene in the pilot, which there's a lot of wonderful ones, but I'm sorry. I changed my mind. I'm not sorry. That was too quick. It was so good. <laughs> he, he did a lot of thinking in that two-second time span. And lastly, mm-hmm. Coop. Okay. What do you think, Coop? On the ball, right? I mean, I got like there's those little things where like you can have him on the ball, but he doesn't need to be that on the ball where he notices the motorcycle in the blurry sub SD image. Well, he hasn't solved the case yet. He doesn't need to see that motorcycle. That motorcycle is where it falls apart for me. That's where it falls apart? You lost it there because, honestly, it should have been a camera lens? Well, yeah. (laughs) 100% it should have been a camera lens if he saw anything. Secondly, he shouldn't have seen anything in a substandard definition image like that that's interlaced on a CRT. She has a really crystal clear eye, man. She can have a crystal clear eye. Doesn't make the picture crystal crystal clear. Words aren't coming. (laughs) All right. If we do continue this adventure, Jake, I would like to ask you at the end of every episode, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Right now, I have to pick somebody? You can pick any name out of the hat. It doesn't need to be a serious guess, but I'd like to know your thoughts on who you think did it. As of this moment, if I had to choose somebody, mm-hmm. and this is with really no evidence. <laughs> no case against this I have no case. <laughs> Ex- except for that they have apparently returned home early on the night day that this happened. Mm-hmm. And that's the truck driver. Leo. Leo. Mm-hmm. First guess is Leo. That's a... Uh... We'll, we'll see how that pans out. Okay. And how much you might think it's Leo in the future. Okay. <laughs> Again, that's with nothing. You have no evidence. I... Only the fact that he's a jerk and returned early. Yeah. All right. I mean, Fair if enough. I was just going with jerks, though, I could name him. I could probably go through a few of those characters. Yeah. But Leo is the first guess. All right. Leo. So, maybe you'll see us again for an episode two. If Jake wants to continue this wonderful adventure through a small town filled with Douglas furs. Maybe. How many episodes are there? Cool.